In 2010, I read an article in the paper that said that there wasn't a candidate for the Republican nominee. There had been one, and that person was no longer going to run. And so suddenly it was open, and um, a lot of things were going on at the same time. So my husband had just come home from Iraq, and 50 you know, percent of the soldiers, soldiers that he came home with came back to no jobs, and the kids were losing school days. I didn't know I lived in a swing district when I decided to run. I think I'm down there for a cause, the causes that I care about, the causes I think my district cares about. Um, sometimes those don't always line up with what Republicans want, so I cross over and I vote a lot of times the way I just think that people want us to vote. I try to um, slice that party piece out of it. Still, a lot of your colleagues in the legislature don't like you. And that's fine. You know, at the end of the day, um, I appreciate the relationships that I have down there with people, but um, my philosophy coming into this was that I had friends before I ran for office, I will have them when I leave. I had a job before I ran for office, I will have one when I leave. My style is that I'm just I'm blunt. I tell it like it is. I, um, I try to be truthful and upfront with people, and sometimes the truth isn't um, Sometimes the truth is not what people want to hear. So, uh, and certainly, uh, I don't believe in the status quo that's happening in that building. I don't believe six people should have all the power in, in the legislature. Um, you can certainly see how that translates into people's packs. I don't believe that, um, I think if Oregonians understood that what they think is representative government is really not happening down there, that they would be pretty upset. I think you can't ignore how you grew up and from where you came from. I think it shapes all of us in the legislature, all 90 of us are bring, you know, we all bring our own stories. Um, my story is not everybody else's story. Um, I'm probably the last person down there writing a check for student loans. I, you know, I had to put myself through college. Um, you know, I've got siblings who have drug addiction and mental health issues and um, have been in and out of jail and incarcerated. Um, those things definitely shape my views on how we do human service work, how we make sure people um, get a, a good shot in life to rise above their own circumstances, get an education, um, and move forward in life. And so, um, you know, that sometimes puts me outside of the Republican Party on issues. Um, but I don't think you can come down there and not have that in the back of your head, the understanding of how you grew up and where you came from um, and have that have not have an implication for the, the types of legislation that you're willing to support.